Hello, hello! Mga amigas and amigos! Magandang hapon sa lahat! Andito na naman tayo sa isang episode and welcome to Muriel's Cusina! And to all my viewers, subscriber, and angel everyone, pumusta kayo? I hope you enjoy your show today, okay? For the episode today, I have a stuffed chicken I forgot the name. Take two. <laughs> Stuffed chicken breast with pesto sauce and cauliflower rice. It's very easy recipe, guys. As I, as I told you, it's always easy, but it's delicious. <laughs> so deliciousness, but easiness. Okay. <laughs> So that is always my cooking. But sometimes, you know, I'm going to make more difficult and challenge for me. Okay? So, let's move to the ingredients. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's start with the ingredients. Okay? I start from the, the meat in the, on this side. Here... I have the 400 grams of um, sausage meat. If you cannot get a sausage meat like this, but it's always having as that. But if you cannot, you can use the, the, the proper sausage meat and then just remove the skin. Okay? I have the three chicken breast here. And I have three big carrots. And I already um, cut them on a match stick. Okay, so that's why it's all like this. And I have the asparagus. I already cut the head of the, the hard one of the asparagus. Okay, and now I have the chopped um, two table, uh, one and a half tablespoon of capers. And this is a three chopped dried sunblush tomatoes. And I have the vegetable stock because we need the vegetable stock for the sauce. And we need the cling film. Oh, no. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Not today. We need the aluminum foil. Okay. <laughs> so that's the aluminum. That's the aluminum there for you guys. And here I have the cauliflower. This is already a grated cauliflower. And this is your tomato, lime, and spring onion, and ginger. And garlic. I'm gonna do this later. This is for the uh, cauliflower rice. That's what we're gonna eat with the chicken. So now, that's all, all the ingredients. So let's start the procedure. So what you need to do with the chicken, you make, you have to make a deep cut, okay? Because we're going to put fillings inside the chicken. So make sure that you got a knife, uh, your knife is sharp so that you won't cut or make a hole on the chicken. So this is the cut. So you just like cut in, in the side of each chicken. So if I show you, that is perfect. Or what you can do, just make a small hole here. Right to the end. And you don't need to open all like this. And later, so this big hole here is enough for you to put the filling. Okay? So that is your chicken. The reason being for having just a small hole, but right through the end, so that the chicken stuck together in the middle. And you don't need the stick. I normally, when I cut it like this, I have to pour a toothpick. Toothpick, you need it to, to secure the meat. So that's why a small cut is better. So now, you need to mix the uh, sunblast tomato, your caper, okay, and your black pepper, and your salt. You don't need a lot of salt. And now, you just have to mix it all up. Make sure that you mix them evenly, or otherwise, the rest of the meat don't have the sunblast tomato and the capers. Okay, so mix, mix, mix. This is really nice because when you mix your food, you need to put your love, <laughs> the filling, <laughs> so that your food is nice. <laughs> so, this is all mixed now. We're gonna steam this today. 
I never try it in the oven. Maybe when you cook, try it in the oven, okay? But I like, um, I always cook it steam for 35 minutes. So let's put this steamer um, boiling so that when we finish this one, they're all ready, okay? So just let them boil. Now, we're gonna have the chicken. Okay, so I better put this one now so it's not messy. We're making a parcel. It's just like a parcel chicken, like that. So let's start with the chicken. So let's put filling. You're gonna see the difference between when you cut a big one or a small one, you see? So we need a stick here, and you just have to secure it. But be careful also, because they might make a hole on your cling on your aluminum foil. So this is I just show you how hard when we make a big cut. So next one, this is with the small cut. And all you have to do is just push it to the end. So guys, look at the difference. If you just make a small hole, you don't need the um the stick. So you just like that. Okay? Because this one is a big cut and that's why it's difficult. So next, oh, I forgot as well, we have a, a vegetable stock here because we need it for the, a little bit of, so instead of water, instead of using water, just use the vegetable stock and then make add to your um, flavor as well. So I'm gonna put um, hot water in this one. Okay, so next one, we're gonna arrange this, okay? So we put all the vegetables in the middle. You have to divide your carrots into three because we got three chickens here. So we're making, we need to make three parcels. So we make three of this as well. There you go. So it looks like, like that. Make sure that you have a big enough to cover, okay? Because we're gonna seal that later. So just put like that. Now we need to put the chicken. I the stock, so you just have to put the stock here. You only need three spoon, three tablespoon of this, and put it on the top. And your pesto, so you only need three tablespoon of your pesto. I spread it all over your vegetables and the meat, and then I done with your black pepper. You don't need to put any more salt because gonna be maybe it's too salty because of your vegetable stock Ta-da! just make sure that the water won't go inside so seal that properly so there you go and that is ready to put it on the um, steamer so you have to do exactly the same for the rest of the chicken okay <laughs> okay guys <laughs> Now, time to cook the stuffed chicken. If the three parcel won't fit in and the, and the, and the, just one steamer, you can add on another one. That's better. And then put the lids. So, that's what we have to do here. And then we make sure that we cook it for 35 minutes. Okay, so... That's us for 35 minutes and then if you have another something to it and then you can just just leave that one and then we move, you move to your next one, okay? Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> okay guys, it's been this, this chicken here in the steamer has been 35 minutes, okay? And uh, definitely it's ready. But because we're going to, I'm going to switch this off first and put this aside here. And then I'm going to show you how to make the cauliflower rice. Okay, so I move this to the other side. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm going to show you how to make a very healthy cauliflower rice okay this is um a low carbs so 
if you are on diet and make it sexy <laughs> and this is your perfect rice for every day so I grated this one and I only use half you don't need the whole well it's up to you if you want to make the whole one but for today I only use the half of the co the whole cauliflower so you just grated it and I have just one whole chop uh, of diced tomato here diced spring onion diced garlic this is a ginger I'm gonna use the micro plane to use the ginger because its flavor is really nice rather than just chop it so you don't really notice if you use a ginger but you can taste it okay so that's why I'm going to use the greater uh, the micro plane and then at the end we need to put some lemon juice lime juice <laughs> Hello, wakey wakey! <laughs> I have a lime juice here. We're gonna juice that later. And I have the um, sesame oil. We only use the sesame oil one teaspoon just to garnish this one. And then I have my favorite black pepper and salt. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to this to start my cooking. Action. <laughs> okay, we just switch on the heat, the, the cooker now. And now I need to put just a um, table, a teaspoon of oil, any oil you can use. I'm gonna put my garlic. This is very quick, guys. You only need this like um, 10 minutes and then that's all done. So now we're going to put this is ready. I can smell, smell, smell. And the aroma. Put your spring onion and then put your cauliflower and then stir, stir, stir. While is it here, I need my microplane and put your ginger. I don't know anybody that doesn't like ginger because I love ginger and ginger, it makes your voice nice. <laughs> So if you want to be a singer, <laughs> you so you you don't need a lot. That's all of what. That's all you need for your ginger. Now it's your soap a little bit. Okay. Now I need my I need my my lime juice, and then just pour it over. The reason I put the lime juice here, I, the, yeah. The reason I put the lime juice because I. I want it like zesty. <laughs> Is that zesty? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like um, sour, but not very sour. So that's why half is enough. And now I'm gonna put a sprinkle of this sesame oil. Not a lot, okay? Just a teaspoon. And there you go. You don't want to cook the tomato, okay? So you need to put the tomato last. And there you go. Because if you cook the tomato, it's going to be, this one gets soggy because uh, the, so, uh, the juice from the tomato, that's why I decided just to use one instead of two early on, as you see on the table. But I only um, slice one, one big of the tomato. I just want to try if it's ready now with all the sauce. I need more salt. I don't need salt. That's enough. <laughs> Let's guys, I'm back again. We'll see the moments of, of truth. Okay? We open this. Okay, guys, you know, when you're cooking, make sure that your head is on, on top of your head, shoulder. <laughs> Whatever. I forgot, I forgot to put pesto on the other one, you know, but this one has pesto, definitely. So, let's open this. And see, there you go. Here you go, guys. Yummy. So, now, let's put this in the plates and see. Okay guys, 
The chef is hungry. <laughs> I'm ready to taste it now. Okay, there you go. So, ready to taste? Wow, see the chicken. It's still moist. That's why that 35 minutes, 30 minutes, and then um, leave it inside the steamer for another 5 minutes. It's just perfect. Okay? The pesto is just perfect. And also, I can taste the vegetable stock. So, the vegetable stock is good as well to add on into your flavor. And now, it tastes asparagus. <laughs> now, I'm gonna taste the cauliflower rice. Guys, the cauliflower is still crunchy. And it tastes nice because of the hint of lime juice and the uh, sesame oil. So, it's perfect. It's zesty. <laughs> so, that is really nice. So, guys, I leave that one because otherwise I'm gonna eat it and I can I need to say paalam. So, the last, the last word was baboy and sibuyas. Okay? So, today, our words for today is kamates. Kamates. Which is tomato. So, you got two words today again. You got your kamates and you got your manok. 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 Okay? Which is chicken. So, manok is chicken and kamates is tomatoes. So, that is your two words today. So, see you in the episode for next week again, guys. Hopefully, this is a big help for you when you're thinking um, a visitors after lockdown. <laughs> Perfect recipe for you guys. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Paalam. Paalam, paalam, paalam. <laughs>